Year 9 students at Holt School are working with Birmingham City Council's Housing Education Initiative. More than 180 pupils participated in a day-long activity to develop their ideas. Pupils then presented their final designs to a panel of judges in a Dragon's Den style competition. The finalists were questioned at length about their design decisions, how their homes would be sustainable, reduce energy consumption and reduce carbon emissions. In our Eco House we will be using solar panels from the solar energy generating system power plant in Moldav Desert. Wind turbines are going to power the house by this power source it is growing 30% annually with the capacity it has 121,000 megawatts. It's basically a house for the future to show how um, we can change things for the future to be more helpful for the planet. What about the real house? What's that? What materials is the real house going to be constructed? Uh, the real house is going to be um, like, uh, made from all recycled sort of materials, we get, like triple glazing, glass and everything. Yeah. Eco living for the future, our, our future. future. This house is a full package ready for you, from wonderful installation ideas to excellent water saving ways. Research has shown that rubber can actually trap the heat that you lose. And if we do use your rubber in our houses, we don't want to buy brand new rubber, but we want to recycle locally sourced rubber. The um, first floor of our house has three rooms, but we haven't like um, designated them like two bedrooms or anything, so the user of the house can um, convert it to whatever they want. Your model shows quite a large house with a large surface area. Um, and if we're going to be w living sustainably on the earth, we've got to have to use our land much more carefully. And it seems to me that your house will take up a lot of land and has quite a large surface area. The space becomes an issue that we can um, uh, redesign the house to have the same um, features, but to contain less space. Oh, the construction. <laughs> Firstly, we'd like to start off by handing out our promotional items and packages to the judges. But this um, model is actually made out of wood, so you can actually see that um, it gives it a better amazing. insight. It gives a better insight to what it would actually look like. What about the use of the garden and the land around the house? How is that going to help you? Um, there is grass here where um, the owner can. Um, grow plants and vegetables or make compost tea. And we also on the side have a recycling bag so um, for recycling materials. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Natural Health is a company made to design and manufacture environment friendly houses. Why do you do eco-efficient houses? This is because we need to change for the future. The current condition we live in is absolutely devastating. The world is slowly dying. We need to make a difference to save both our world for our generation and those to come. You have a gym in your plan. Why, why is the gym important? Most of the, like when you're cycling, it's like all the energy you produce, you can store these like for, at the bottom there's a game room, so you don't have to use the electricity from everywhere else. You can use the electricity you made and energy. These houses cost normally about 150000 but we are giving a bargain because in the future we will save a lot of money as the materials in the, off in the house are in fact very expensive. The reason why we are giving the house is such a price because the use of materials, design, double glazed windows and also insulated vacuum doors and walls. You said uh, you're getting quite a lot of sunlight into your um, house. Um, with the green, well, they're not. It's not a roof. The green walls. How how would you get? Where, where are your windows? It's going to be insulated as well inside. Yeah. Because of the grass, that's why put yeah. grass on top. It's going to be waterproof. Thank you for taking time out of your business schedules to listen to our presentation. I am Tanvia Ahmed and I am the manager of Eco Peace. With your help, we can put the pieces together. Objectives. Our objectives are design and build a model eco house and reuse grey water. As you can see, there's a big window. This lets in daylight when, the, when it is bright outside. But when it gets dark, there is an LED light inside. 
this lights off automatically when it gets dark. Any questions? I see you're um, you're you're using rainwater and t taking it to the river and all of that stuff. Does this mean that your house has to be built right next to a river? But future plans we have is to build after this house. We want to build an eco village. After eco village, we want to build an eco town. And sooner or later, we put the pieces together and get a less eco world. The Eco House Design Challenge is part of an ongoing project with Holt School to enable students to develop their knowledge and understanding of climate change issues and creating sustainable communities. So the winning team is actually 9W. So congratulations. Uh, perhaps Karen, if you could bring the certificate <laughs> It's unexpectedly basically. <laughs> unexpected. <laughs> um, I do the design and done the presentation, and um, I got. I just. I think that what made us won was a bit of humour, and we basically made everyone laugh, and we won. It's basically it was a team it's effort. With that, with that, with that. We all had a different roles, and we done it well. No. What was the prize? Um. Uh, Fortnite, Fortnite residential all trip. expenses paid to uh, Wales. Wales. We're very happy all of us as I a know. team. I still can't believe that we won. I thought that we're not going to win. I thought the children were very impressive. They have been very, very well trained in how to handle um, unexpected situations. I thought it was fantastic. I thought the marketing, the way they all done their little presentations and the business cards and the names of their groups, the research was amazing. We asked them this morning as we went round what they'd learned and every group said they'd learned a great deal and we also asked them what difference it would make to the way they lived in their houses and they said that they would turn more lights off, close more doors and would think more creatively about how they lived. I think that's why it's very important to work with children because they're the, they're the ones who are going to be living the future more than their parents, certainly more than me um, and I just think that yes, they will take that message home. I think a lot of them are very worried. I think we've started a process and we begin to shape a culture, you know, and I think that will show over time. But there is, a, there is a, a, an understanding now. And, you know, we hope that the other things that happen in Los Isles will help to keep fostering that and develop that culture. So there's hope for our future. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to also see a few of them, the School of Architecture. I think some of those designs actually were quite interesting in their forms that they've come up with, which they were able to justify. I think that's the hardest thing, is justifying reasons for their design decisions. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Pleasure. <laughs> for more information, visit lozellesnews.co.uk.